Do you remember I said to you, um, this amount that we're actually going to pay, this 700 and whatever thousand, okay? It's kind of between what you'd pay if you did it instantly, whoops, instantly, or what you'd pay if you waited the whole time, okay? What's happening is the interest and your repayments, they're kind of playing tug of war, right? The interest is getting bigger, but hopefully you're putting in payments to reduce that so that your payments sort of balance out the interest that's coming on, right? So I want you to see how this is happening month by month, because that's how frequently you pay. Read this with me and you'll need your calculator. A home loan of $250,000, that's important, is taken out at this interest rate with a monthly repayment of 1,888. Use the table to calculate the amount still owing, okay? So this table is a structure for us to help us understand what is happening. We can go through it left to right, top to bottom. You start with this principle, right? And the first thing that happens, the first thing that always happens is the bank will charge you interest, okay? Now, have a look at this. This is happening on a monthly basis, right? So with your calculator there, you can say that the interest will be 250,000, right? Times, what's the rate? What's the rate? 7 .75. It's 7.75. So I'm gonna write in my calculator, um, zero point, sorry, this is 250,000 times 0 0.075, but it's only a month, right? It's not a whole year. So the N is going to be one over 12. Okay, do you see that? So that number there, that's the first little batch of interest they're gonna charge me, okay? So go ahead and punch that in. Okay, so the number I'm looking at is $1,562.50, yeah? What have I done? Oh, you are right, absolutely. And it's good. that means it's gonna be a little more. So it's 7.75%, so let's check that in. Sorry, yeah, I, it, I'm cheating. Uh, okay, so when you fix your number up, let's fix my number up. Is it an awkward number? I'm getting this. Yep, is that looking good? Okay, good. So what happens is that now that that interest has been calculated, the bank is like, you owe us more now. You owe us the sum of those two things, which is why this next column says P plus I. You see that? So uh, this is an easy one. You don't even need your calculator for this. Now I owe them uh, $251,614.58. Does that make sense? So, yeah. Wait, you one month. One month. So over there on the left, this is the first month. This is the first month. So one month of interest. Yeah, you see what's going on? Okay, that's fine. Okay, they've added interest, but you remember the tug of war I mentioned, right? So I'm gonna pay off $1,888. So over here, the balance, what I now owe them, is that P plus I, and you're gonna take away the repayment you made, the 1,888, okay? So you can go ahead and you can um, calculate that. I have this number. What do you think? Yeah, I've got that. Yep, happy? No? Yes? No? I have subtracted 1,888. That was the repayment, right, over there. I've subtracted it from how much I owe them after the interest, okay? Now, have a look, have a look. Before we look at the next line, and it starts to get a bit mechanical, okay? What do you make of this number? How much of a dent have you made into your debt? <laughs> a pretty small amount, right? Uh, 249000 It's about $270, okay? You're like, wow, I plowed in 1888 but the dent I made was quite small because the tug of war is very balanced at this point, okay? So that's fine. Now, it's like everything starts all over again. The principal at the start of month number two is that amount you just wrote. It's the balance. It's going to be 249 and, oh, sorry, decimal point in the wrong place, 726 and 58 cents. That's the new principal as it was, as it were, okay? What am I going to do to work out the next step? Have a look. I'm going to have to do this with the interest calculation again, aren't I? So over here, this is how I calculated interest last time. I'm going to do it again. 
but I'm going to do it with this as my principal. Whoops, keep doing that wrong. You see that? So I've done this all over again, this interest calculation, but with my updated principal, okay? So I'm going to multiply by those numbers and get some kind of messy decimal out of it. Okay, here's my number. Ooh, let's not write that in highlighter. How does it look? Yeah? Okay, so can you see what's happened? The interest from month two is ever so slightly smaller than the interest from month one. Why is that? Because the amount is smaller, we reduced the balance. That's why these are called reducing balance loans. Okay, so now we're going to add that back. Uh, well, you can say it from both perspectives. I mean, the whole point of an economic transaction is there is a win on both sides of the equation, right? The bank is happy because we're paying them these huge sums of money, right? But I'm happy because I don't have this amount of money to buy a house. So I'm enabled to do something I couldn't do otherwise. So it's kind of a win-win, right? Um, yeah, okay. So this is the amount I've got here. You see, I've added on my new amount of interest. Okay. Now to find the balance at the end of the month. What's the last thing I have to do? I have to subtract that repayment of 1,888. Wait, so I don't get the significance of subtracting the rate. That's not the rate. That R, I know it's a bit sneaky, but that R is not a rate. That's the repayment. Okay. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Okay, do you see it? Do you see how this is going? Okay, now, now it starts to get a bit repetitive. So you will get faster at doing this. And eventually the number I'm after is this number here. What will it be after six months? How much progress will I have made on my mortgage? Can you have a go at that? And get down. Yeah, I hope. Have a go and see how far you can get. 